So, um, so how can I help you? <laughs> what, what, what's your goals? What's your goals and how can I help you? If, if I may share... Um, of course. If there's anything confidential, I, 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 I will no. just cut out of, of the course, of course. content. I'll just and, and may I record it? Of my? course, I can send you everything. Okay, cool. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's really exciting because uh, you're kind of... You're, you're first generation, right? You were born in Brazil? Yes. I'm yeah. second generation. My Here. parents are from okay. Peru. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's exciting to see, you know, people from South America you know, have some degree of success here. But um, uh, I'm 28, right? A little late, but I finally realized, you know, I didn't know what I really wanted to do until I started really getting, I knew I wanted to get into real estate because I feel like it's the most solid way of preserving wealth. It's yeah. one of the most, yeah. um, the where you have the most control. Yeah. It's not, it might not be liquid, but. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I don't know at, at which level you have control because right now it's 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 something different it doesn't matter where in what segment you are you you were affected by right. the, by the covid right so you, you have no control because there was a stop of i have no control there. but uh, i th i th i think um, the correct real estate uh, it can provide you because when you do investment Basic, basically, you have two ways to make money. Either the, the investment generates cash flow for you, some kind of cash flow, like stocks. Stocks generate cash flow, it's low, but they do. Or in valuation. And real estate can be very good on, on, on cash flow, can be very good in cash flow. Right now, condos in Miami, they are not good because they are just paying for your expenses, but at least you're not underwater. Um, but they take, they can take a long time for appreciation, appreciation. but they will happen. Yeah. Here in the US, I think the average is 3%, 3% over inflation. 3% over inflation. So over, that's, over how long? Uh, in the last, in since, general? Since, 1970, since 1975, oh, okay. more or less. That's good. Um, you said three percent over inflation. Over inflation. Inflation is what two two percent. More or less, yes. Yeah. Average, yes. Yeah. So you take. I, I actually put a video yesterday <laughs> about about some kind of this uh, on YouTube. You take the SP five hundred in the last eighty years. Eighty years. So we had World War Two. We had Vietnam. We had the crash in the eighties, in the nineties, in the two thousand. We have nine eleven. We had uh, coronavirus. We had two thousand and eight. So we have all those events. And it's still the SP 500 averaged from then to now, 80 years ago, 9.8% per year. Yeah. 9.8% per year. Yeah. Growth. Yes. So, growth. Yeah. so compounded, that's a lot of money. Yeah. And the video that I did on, on the, the other day was, was comparing people that, and that's because someone asked me that question. He has a mortgage. And he has the money to pay off the mortgage. What should he do? No. I told him, look, if you pay your mortgage, you're saving 3% on your interest because you're not going to pay that interest over 30 years. Yeah. And you're only making on your asset 3% per year because that's how much okay. real estate grow yeah, yeah, yeah. in the long run, appreciate the appreciation. Yeah. If you put on the stock market and you don't look, don't trade, just buy the index. The average okay. Okay. is going to be 9.8. So in 30 years, of course, we cannot predict the future, but in the same sense, in 30 years, that $100,000 would become 1.6 million because it's compounded. Yeah. So if he, if he would pay off his mortgage, his $100,000 home Might appreciate would be 272 or 262, yeah. something like that, in the same period of 30 years. Yeah. So... The capital I've, gains is more on the yeah, exactly, mutual funds. Exactly, right? exactly. And, and so, but um, I understand that the stock market has oscillations and is volatile sometimes, like in a moment like now, that you need the money for one, on one side is liquid, but on the other side you're going to uh, take out on, when the market is dipping and you're going to lose a lot of money. So, there's not a one size fits all yeah that's why we do 
a, a, a portfolio of investment with assets. Yeah. A lot of in a lot of places. I always said that I have a client coming from Brazil, and uh, I I told him, look, before you do anything risky, just buy property that generate the cash flow for you to pay your pay your expenses here yeah. and that's what he's doing he bought yeah. seven properties this year from those properties that we have in Baltimore that had those returns so it's very cheap in Baltimore in Baltimore yeah really the highest yield in the American America is Baltimore. Really? yeah so he bought seven okay. he has a goal of making fifteen thousand dollars per month passive so those are the cap rates those are the, the net cap rates net after all expenses insurance, property management, and um, um, property tax. So that's the next 13. Oh, that's, that's with property tax? Too? Everything. 